Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we were going on a massive collectathon, and that is basically what we're going to continue doing today. So, ooh, 400 bucks, we'll take that. So, we have a few little areas down here to extract, although nothing majorly exciting to grab, sadly. But that's okay. I'm sure our luck will change in that regard eventually. So let's go and continue by getting rid of these skelly bags. Got a nice little upgrade to the amount of hearts we can carry. And we have these pests. Which, I'm going to be honest, not a big fan of these guys at all. Uh, I don't know why, because they're not that annoying really but they just i don't know something about them annoys me they just roadblock enemies i guess but rather pathetic ones anyway if we come back here kind of the same as when we were in the original castle we can find some mill tickets there's an interesting item through here peanuts and if we keep coming out of this room and going back in we can collect an unlimited supply of peanuts. Now, that might sound like a good thing, the fact that we have access to an unlimited source of portable health. However, peanuts are a pretty crap item, and I'll explain why. So we've collected quite a few of them now. So if I find them in our inventory, we can... Where are they? Where are the peanuts? Oh man, this inventory is just a mess. Okay, they are here somewhere. Now they actually give you like a somewhat decent amount of health. They give you 50. Ah, oh, there we go, peanuts. They give you uh, 50 health, which you might be thinking to yourself, ooh, that sounds pretty good. 50 health and we can get an unlimited supply of them. We can just farm these until we can't carry any more. So if we go to use them, Alucard will just throw them up in the air and the rub with these things is you've got to try and land them in his mouth by pushing up as soon as they hit his head like so uh, yeah try doing that in combat um, you're probably going to have a bad time and it's probably going to get you killed again it's like an interesting little addition to this game but uh, in the same breath it's not very practical I'm sure if you get a lot of practice in, you can probably uh, heal yourself quite, you know, somewhat regularly with these things. But for me, personally, they're just an annoying item. I'm going to collect a few just in case, because I'd rather have a load of these and never need to use them than not have them if you catch my drift. So I'm going to meet you guys back here in a minute once I've harvested a lot of these things up. Okay, so I just grabbed a hundred of those. Um, didn't actually take that long. I am wondering if you technically get more than one with each pickup. Not 100% sure. Anyway, let's go save the game. And whilst we're doing that, I can update my map. We got the mill tickets. We got the peanuts, even though they're infinite. And we got the heart expansion. So uh, let's continue because soon we're going to be coming up against an enemy that's a rather tough bastard, to be honest. Uh, some may say a tough nut to crack. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's quickly switch up to the Masamune again. Just because. In fact, you know what? Let's just take the easy road, shall we? turn into this poisonous cloud of gas shame we can't pick up items as the gas cloud but i suppose then it would just be ridiculously op now it kind of already looks ridiculously op the fact that we are a gas cloud and uh, we are invincible and we can damage enemies however there are some enemies but whether it's due to our level or what, we don't really do a huge amount of damage to... But that's fine. There has to be some negatives to such uh, unrestricted power. 
Okay, so we've gone down there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We need to keep going. What's in here? Money. I like money. I really like money. I probably have an unhealthy obsession with money. And I think the uh, librarian enjoys his pay as well. Kind of curious about the librarian, actually. Because although he serves as a shop, um, he also lives in the castle. And the castle is its own strange beast. Um, you know, nightmarish creature. So I'm not really sure how that works. Maybe he himself is some strange aberration. Maybe, maybe we will never know. Anywho, that is not for us to ponder right now. Ooh. Yep, this is where things get a little bit spicy. But that is okay. Because we are going to transform into a gas cloud. And circumvent all of these traps. Because we is smart, yo. Just like that. Oh, what did you drop? Monster vial, three, huh? Interesting. Not needed. Yeah, man, I love this gas cloud so much. Like, it was kind of like a... Not a rubbish ability when you first get it. Because... Ah, this place is safe. Uh, because it has its, you know, uses. But, man, did it get OP. Right, this guy... This guy hurts. Ooh, we are really not doing a lot of damage to him at all, are we? Ha. I'm wondering if it's worth just avoiding this guy, to be honest with you. Now, if we fly up to him, we do a grand total of one damage with the glass, uh, gas cloud, uh, whilst destroying the emulator in the process. So he's not much to worry about. Now, I don't know how much health this guy actually has. My only concern is if we actually come into contact with him. He is just going to wreck us and do ungodly amounts of damage. Uh, even our like most powerful weapon is doing one damage against this guy. Which is curious. Now hopefully the sword can just keep the damage up just a little bit. Right, let's see if we can't go this way. Oh, there's another one. Of course there is. Okay. Ah, that hurts. Man, that hurts so bad. Right, let's eat a sushi. It's going to give us a cool hundo. Now... Let's see if we do have something that could do more damage to him. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, we <laughs> set it to the other button. That's fine. Nope, one damage. Okay, we must have something that can hurt this thing. Surely. Ooh, that hurt him. Oh, God, but he hurts us so much more. <sighs> okay. We're in a bit of a bad way here. So, let's get out of here. Unfortunately, by exiting the area, he's going to regen all of his health. Um, God damn. Don't know what we... Ooh, I mean... We do have some of these, like, long-range weapons that I've never really used, which possibly we should have a look at. Uh, let's see if we can't get a little bit of health back, though. We've got some turkeys. Let's eat the turkeys. 80 health for a turkey. Doesn't quite seem like a very good deal, if you ask me, but, you know, sure. Uh, we have missed a couple of little offshoots, unfortunately. But I really want to try and take this guy out. At least one of them. I just want to see how much health these guys are worth. Let's see if we can use some TNT on this guy. Something's got to hurt this thing. Guard. Oof. 
say the TNT does nothing. I so neutron bomb damages all enemies. Let's give that a go, shall we? I mean, that hurts him, but not really much. All right, what else have we got in your back pocket here? Uncursed strength potion. Jeweled knuckles. Come on, we've got to have something here. Uh, magic missile. I mean, I guess we could try magic missile. Uh, no. Nope, that does very little against him as well. All right, let's get rid of this guy, because this guy is kind of annoying. And not really doing anything for us at all. Before we aggro the other guy too much. And hopefully we haven't already aggroed the other guy. So. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh man. I, mm, it's not looking good. I'm going to be honest here. Karma coin. Let's give one of those a go. Tails. Right. Heads. Ooh. That actually just heals us. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Powerful throwing star. Hmm. How powerful? Uh, so powerful it goes off the screen. Got ya. Pentagram damages all enemies. Well, we'll give that a use. I mean, this is a good little demonstration of all of our abilities, I suppose. Now that, that hurts it. That's worth knowing. Power of Sire. Give this a go. Uh, it hurts him a little bit. Quite a little bit, actually. But we only had a few of those. Um, what else is in the old back pocket here? I think we are actually running out of things. Summon skeleton alloy, uh, ally. Go on, then. See if we can't distract this guy with some skeletons. Ow. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that was actually incredibly shite. Uh... Damages all enemies. We we'll try you. Oh, that actually did kill it. Okay. So. So that gave us almost a whole level of XP. That's kind of curious. Let's try that, shall we? Actually, let's get some health back. Let's get some shiitakes. Like so. What else have we got here? These things are actually worth fighting, more or less. Oh, hello. Well, you're not much to... Oh, God, I was going to say you're not much to write home about as I take a swing at him with no weapon equipped. All right, he's gone now. So what else is left? Weapon-wise. Attack. Don't know how much that puts our attack up by. Uh, is that really like... Oh, we've got fire boomerangs as well, I guess. See if that does anything against it. Nope. <laughs> Guards the lot, because of course he does. Uh, okay. Resist dark. I mean, is he dark energy? I'm not 100 sure where the dark blade's just gone. Could try the holy sword, I suppose. See if that does anything else against him. Oh, the holy sword. Okay. So the holy sword is where it's at then. I guess, before we get completely and utterly body bagged by this guy. Let's try and get some more health. We do know the Holy Sword 
works, which is good. Very good. Holy Rod. What if the Holy Rod does even more damage? Nah, I don't think so. I think the Holy Sword is more powerful. Uh, we do have Peanuts. We've got an Elixir here. Restores all HP. That's what we want. Takes a while to activate, but it does restore all of our HP. So that's worth knowing. Now, where is that Holy Sword? If I was a Holy Sword, where would I be? I'm going to have a look and see if there's something we can do with this inventory because it's awful. All right, let's go for the Massa again. Let's see, was I correct? Is the Massa only doing like... No, the Massa does damage. Not a lot. But it is technically doing damage. Okay, cool. Yeah, so farming these guys, we will actually level up pretty quick however farming them is sort of leaning onto the uh, dangerous side of life um however however there is a save point here somewhere I'm pretty sure um I think it's a oh there's another one there all right before we go too crazy here what is below us ah oh you know i wonder we can experiment here we can do a lot of experimentation here and see if we can find something that will actually do a little bit of damage against these things Okay, so that he's just going to straight up block, and then it's going to do one damage, which is not fantastic, going to be honest. Yep, wait for him to stop blocking. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, you bastard. So in theory, we can kill him with this weapon going to take a lot and then we can try and gas him out a little bit run some circles around him there's another guy there but this guy shouldn't be too much to worry about right he's done I do want to spend a little bit of time here farming these guys though because if we can get to like I don't know at least a couple of levels we are hurting him slowly but surely I reckon we could get a lot out of these guys really do the only trouble is it is really not doing good things to our mana supply here so I'm thinking if we kill two more we'll get another level possibly three more which does seem like an arduous task, but it can be done. Okay, our sword actually did some good damage to it then. Come on, you sack of shit. Come on, don't be like that. I think we've got to wait for him to start to attack. Yep. Yeah, because that just does crazy damage as soon as he attacks. Ooh, I did not want to become gas. Oh, that does... Oh. I was hoping on that second plinth it wouldn't knock us back. Oh, that's frustrating. All right. So, can we open this place up with the two rings again? I'm going to assume that we can... Uh, where were rings? And I'm also guessing that... Ah, wait a minute. We've got the moonstone. I don't think the moonstone's going to do anything for us, to be honest. Yep, because it goes on the clock. 
of our um, computer. So, yeah, because it's not night time, we're not getting massive stat boosts. Right, so let's go for silver ring. And where's the, where is it? Gold ring. No, that doesn't work here this time. So how, I wonder, do we open the way? Hmm. Curious. Right, well, we're actually out of time here, guys. So I am going to leave this video here and I'm going to do a little bit of experimentation off camera and see if I can't grind these guys just a bit. So thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.